Hey guys, next month is the birthday of my father and my brother, so I decided to create a birthday greeting card for them. I have set up a print size document and I have divided it into three equal parts using guides. Now I have made a heart shaped layer which is filled with the radial gradient and you can see that this path is extension of the heart itself. Now with the pen tool I will make a bounding box around the heart. You can see that I am using shift key and also I have turned the smart guides on to give perfect box. If I will go here and type the text tool, I want a font character type to tangerine and I want to change the font size to 24. I will paste my text here and I will give it proper spacing as needed and I will align it to center like this. Now I will change the font size to 26 and this font size to 25. Now we will work on the middle layer. Now let's see how I created the balloons. First of all I will toggle this eye off and make a new layer and I will use a brush with a fill of nil and the stroke set to a color of 100, 50 and 50. Now I will use a stroke but this is too heavy so I will use a lighter stroke of 0 0.25 points. Now I will use a brush and I will make a shape like this to have a knot type shape. Now what I will do is I will place it here and I will group both of these to have this rope type of effect. Now next I will create a balloon with the help of a pen tool. I will make a balloon like this. I am using the shift key and by pressing the alt key I can uh, make a balloon like this. like this in illustrator it's too easy to make press the alt key again here and finally here now i'll fill it with a color say green now next step was to uh, place this green behind the group that is by placing it here now we will arrange this on top of it like this and next step was to create a path like this here i'm pressing the alt key and then here and this and filling it with the color of white. Now I will change its transparency from 100% to 20%. Now next step is to make another shape layer along the lines. I will turn this eye off along this, these lines. I will change its opacity to 10% so that it can have a beautiful type of a gradient type of a look and finally I will switch this eye on to have a balloon. Now you can see that this is very much similar to that of the balloons I created earlier. I won't be needing this layer so I will delete it yes and I will be back to here. Now what I will do is I will write some text like with loads of love. Now I will change the font from tangerine to Jellica Delicious Cake and change its value from 25 to 72. I'll align it to the center by shift clicking on it and clicking on it again and going here. I can drag it down by pressing shift and down arrow key. Now I need to go in the symbols panel and in the celebration I have a cake available. So I can bring that cake here and I can press alt and shift key here to make it bigger. I can also align it to center. I can bring the confetti down here and I can rotate this confetti from here and I can make a copy of the confetti by pressing the alt key and then I can rotate it again like this. I can send both these layers behind by pressing the control left bracket key. Moreover I can also create a reflection by dragging this circle to the center of the cherry and making a copy of it. If I will double click on this confetti, it will give me a dialog box that you can edit it and I want to edit it. Like I want this pink color to be turned into a red color and this blue I want to change it into a light green color. 
you can change the color of the confetti by this the middle layer is ready we will work on the top layer we need to make a rectangle on it first of all we will go with the rectangle tool and i'll make the stroke nil and i'll make a rectangle out of it like this then we will make a polygon polygon sides are set to 6 and radius is set to 6 the filled part is set to nothing and stroke is set to black with a stroke value set to 0.25% and now I am going to rotate it by 90 degrees to make a hexagon out of it. Now what I am going to do is I will shift drag it and then in the effect panel I will go in the distort and transform and transform it. In the first settings I will change it to 10.5 points and change the copies to 60. Next in the transform panel we are going to apply another effect with the values of 5.3 points and 9 points and copies this time is set to 1 next step is to go and transform it for the third time its value is set to 0 and 18 points now copies are set to 40 now what we will do is we will go in it and we will shift this path on the top by dragging it on the top of the path and we will shift click on both the meat balls to activate it and then by right clicking we can make a clipping mask then we will make another rectangle on top of this and this time we will have a fill of this C85 M50 Y0 K0 next step is to make another fill and then we will change its value to a radial gradient now this time I can modify the gradient by using the gradient tool on the left then I can change the value from here and I can change its mode to overlay. Next is I need to drag this path beneath the clip group in order to see the grid which I earlier made. Now I need to write the text on it. For the text I will use the font of federation hull and the points I will set to 200 points. So I will write happy here and I will go in its appearance panel and I will give it a fill a gradient fill a default gradient is available here orange to yellow and i'll change its stroke to black i'll make a grid by going in this perspective grid tool now by activating the perspective selection tool i can set it into perspective like this now next step is to write birthday now i'll write birthday similarly i'll give it a fill and i'll stroke it to black now I will drag this down but it won't be able to apply because I am not using the perspective selection tool. If you will try to use a perspective selection tool here it will align on the blue grid but I want it on the orange grid so I will press the keyboard shortcut 3 to align it on the orange grid. Now we will shift click on both these grids. First of all I need to click Control shift i to get rid of the perspective grid. Now I need to drag by shift and pressing the up arrow key. It says the effectively expanded, it doesn't happen so we don't care about it. So we will shift it up. Now we see that we have the effect bit of ready. Now what we will do, we will have press Control c and Control f Then drag its copy down and I will press Control c and Control f again to nudge it a little bit like this. What we will do is we will select both the forward and the backward layer and we will go in the pathfinder panel to exclude it. It is not the effect we are looking for. So we will press the X key and change the fill color to this gradient and the stroke color to the black. Now we will press the shift key and drag it upwards like this. Now we will send it to backwards by pressing the range sent to backward, the birthday sent to backward. Now if we will do range sent to backward, happy is sent to backward and my happy birthday seems to be ready now. Great. Now we can see that we have all the three effects present and this is a final birthday card which I am going to present to my father and my brother. I hope you liked it and hope they will like it. Thank you.